<laughs> oh my god, I'm not ready. <laughs> You're not backing out on me, are you? <laughs> no, let's do this. All right, keep your mouth closed. This is probably gonna tickle. Good morning, everyone. Kels is working very, very hard right now, and I can't do anything outside because this is uh, the view. It's not as bad as it was about half an hour ago. The hurricane Isaias. I thought it was Isaias, but I think it's pronounced Isaias. Well, I guess he got a touch of uh, New York, so I think all day we're gonna have uh, nasty weather. So today I am just gonna play around. I finally got the big bag that I can put on top of Baymax. I'm gonna test it out, see what I can actually fit in here in a bit. And then uh, tidy up some more and then I think I'm going to start posting like the TV and the sofa up on Craigslist to try and get rid of it because after this week it's crunch time. Got the hat. The baggy. Baymax's hat. Baymax's hat. I thought it would be hard shell. No, it's a soft shell. This is better actually. Yeah. Because then it's not heavy. <laughs> you can tell we're having to get very creative with <laughs> where we can work right now. <laughs> yeah. Right now, there's no room in there. <laughs> and I said to Johnny, had to wait between my calls to do this because this is currently my background <laughs> for my Zoom calls. <laughs> I can't be doing that all my time while I'm doing my calls. This is definitely waterproof. <laughs> It smells like the raincoat. Yeah, like, like a you know, rain mac. Yeah, it does. I love, I love that. Oh, so do it I. Really me so much of my childhood. It's huge. Remember when we was start we started dating and we tied a Christmas tree to the top of your car? Oh yeah. <laughs> And you just had me look out the window at the shadow of the car the whole journey to make sure the Christmas tree hadn't fly. come off the top. Because you can see the Christmas tree just doing this from the shadow. So you're looking out the window at the shadow and then the shadow tree is just going like that much above. It just right came into now. my head. <laughs> okay, first test. Yes. A cardboard box. Let me see. <laughs> oh, I am still going to try and... I'm gonna try and fit, see if I can fit two boxes in. Just in case we need to put boxes up there. This moving stuff is an Olympic sport. <laughs> this moving stuff is what? An Olympic sport. It is. Look, so I can fit two boxes um, on the narrow side. And put think, all the lid cover over that? I think it will. Okay. What's good about it is that all it is is clothes up there. Yeah. Hoping that we don't lose it because that's all like <laughs> but they're easily replaced yeah but like if it falls off and we have to pull over and pick it up yeah we know that it's not going to get damaged because it's close unless it gets run over and all that but that's not going to happen please yeah. tell me that's not going to happen but i think the safest thing to put up there is close it's also lightweight there's no risk of anything getting damaged yeah but if i do it right i think that I can put all our clothes on top of this and narrow down the boxes because some of those boxes have the winter clothes. Okay, this works. This is a good use of space, I feel like. But what's good about this is that it's actually even taller. So there's still more room. Yeah, so I can actually even lift it even higher. Fit you in it. Or fit me in it. Then oh, you can yeah. use the passenger seat. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. So sit here. <laughs> Can you fit in that? Oh, there you go. Perfect. I can smuggle you into Florida. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yay. And for anyone that is curious, where did you find this and how much was it? Amazon, $90. There you go. Alright, so at least we got to test this thing out, but now we gotta get rid of a lot of stuff. Fit a person. But we need more than just one person. We need something that will fit 20 bodies. <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> you know like when they measure trunks? How, how big is your trunk? It's about 10 bodies worth. But, don't, you can't say stuff like that. 
that makes you sound like a serial killer. <laughs> no, it's like a, <laughs> I think it was like a quote from a movie or something. I'm sure. Oh. She just saw it fall. What? The, the whole tree what split tree? and then it fell into the neighbor's yard. <gasps> Oh my gosh! I was like, look at that, it broke the window over there. Oh! Wow. See, that window's broken there. I was just like, oh my god, what is that? Oh my gosh, that's like that's somebody's yard. Yeah. Oh, that would give them a fright. I hope no yeah. one's in. Oh no. Well, I'm sure everyone's okay. No one's outside, which is a good thing because... Yeah, because it's gross. It's gross outside. But, wow, uh, that came out of nowhere. It was just a sudden dust, wasn't it? Yeah, I was just like, oh, it's right it. there, look. See from up there? <gasps> That's a Huge piece of it. Branch. And then there's another one here in the middle. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Oh man, that sucks. That's, uh, That's part the of the storm. Yeah, it's been crazy wind today. At least no one got hurt. Just saw that while we were talking about this. Poor Baymax. Not too bad. Dirt everywhere. It's a really flattering angle for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My mustache is here. When are you? I thought you were gonna shave this week. Oh, uh, we are. Oh, okay. Oh, we are. Shave it this week. <laughs> Hola, this is Charlie. Charlie the puppy. Why are you speaking Spanish? We're going on an adventure. <laughs> Guess where we're going. I'll tell you where we're going. Where are we going? We're going across the chocolate lake and over the strawberry mountain to get to Coney Island. That's what she does in the show. <laughs> Isn't that from Elf? <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave a comment below if you know what children's TV show that is from. We're about to tell you because we're going to watch the movie version. But yeah. pause the video, let us know. What are we going to watch? We're going to go on an adventure with Dora. We're going to watch Dora and the Lost City of Gold. I've been wanting to watch this. <laughs> it's so excited. I was like, I don't want to watch it. I'm like, I want to watch it. And then I guess it came out. Oh. I said I had to be in the mood for like these sorts of movies, but today is fine. So guess what we're going to do today? We're, we've ordered some food. We ordered some nice Indian, spicy Indian. Yes. We have a bottle of red wine and we're going to watch Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm really excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an adventure movie. I can't wait for it. All right. <laughs> See, Charlie's like happy too. Charlie's happy. Big update. We're gonna say goodbye to the TV sad face. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> this TV was always too big for this apartment. Yeah, but we used it. It's gonna say goodbye. I sold it online, so the guy's gonna pick it up in an hour. So that means they gotta just make it look nice and clean. Maybe keep it plugged in in case the guy wants to see it. That is all. This is my hook look. <laughs> oh my god! You're like my Captain Hook. It's me. Hello, that's me. So creepy. Am I creepy, it's me? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry you've got felt with this. Actually I'm not because I've got felt with this every day. Guess what? TV's gone. Hey. No more big bulky TV. So in the meantime, we have our little tiny one that we're gonna use to entertain ourselves in the evenings. Good selling. Good selling? Yeah. And the best part, the guy that I sold it to, he found a parking spot right in front. <laughs> So as part of the deal, he let me take over his parking spot. So Baymax is in front of our apartment, which means I don't have to worry about finding a close parking to start loading things uh, next week. Just All of it. Pray you don't have to move. Yeah. Oh, what I just found out is that if you just stay in your car during that time period where there's street sweeping, they won't give you a ticket. So tomorrow, like tomorrow Thursday, I have to move it. So I'm just gonna go in my car and stay there and hope I don't have to move it. And if that works, then I'm just gonna keep doing that two more times and we get to leave with the car still parked up front. And I bought a trolley too. This thing is amazing. This is a hand truck 
a trolley, a dolly. This also folds like a radio flyer style, where it's more flat, so you can put. So you can ride it. Oh, you can ride it. Definitely. <laughs> 400 pound capacity, so 100% this is gonna come with us to flow flow because it's gonna be very useful. Our situation, the little dilemma that we're having right now is that we want to buy the bed frame and the ones that we want, they're either not available, too expensive, too expensive, <laughs> or the ones that are available will take 10 to 12 weeks. 10 to 12 weeks. So, we need to find one that's available that will come when we need it to come and it's not expensive. Oh, also one or two people said I should just go for it and get the anthropology mirror. The seven foot one. <laughs> you guys bad influences. And it's Thursday. I am by myself here in the apartment and Kelsey went to get her hair done. So she's getting a little bit of a highlight going or I think she's dyeing it. I don't know. She said highlight or die. I don't remember. But while she's away, I am now going to have a time to actually break this bed down. I figured I was going to do this next week, but because I have the whole apartment to myself, I think it would be easier for me to get the mattress out of here, break down the bed frame, and get all of the stuff here in one area. Let's go. <laughs> Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight Okay, I went downstairs and saw the super And they told me that today was trash pickup night or tonight So I took all of the bed frame down and so no more bed frame. That's one less thing to worry about. Oh, and guess what? The beautiful, lovely lady here. Back. She's back and oh my gosh. Look at that hair. First a haircut, then a nice toner. What is this? It's like, I feel amazing. You feel amazing? I got balayage. And then I did like a toner on my roots and a light ashy toner for the rest of my highlights. I love it. She made it just as I was dropping off the last one. Oh. And the mirror is gone. And on my way down, the person that opened the door for me is this lovely lady. I came bearing gifts. And she brought gifts and I also ordered food. So what gifts did you bear? Oh, I <laughs> bared beer. <laughs> you bared beer. Oh. oh, we're also doing something. What? <gasps> what? Before I shower, we have to do one big thing. What? I'll show you. <gasps> Are you seriously going to do it? I'm not doing it, you're doing it. <gasps> Are you serious? I don't know if I can... Do I want to do this? Do you trust me to do this? Yeah, it's just flat like this and then go like that. Goodbye, moustache. Yes, this is the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that food. A new hairdo, a new face. <gasps> should we do it? Yes. Where should we do it? Um. Right here. Okay. <laughs> you catch it in your t-shirt. Yes. That's how it's gonna work. <laughs> All right. Are you nervous? No. Do you want to like take a photo before we? No. no. I already have my photos. All right. Say goodbye to Mustache. You sure you're ready? I'm ready. Oh my god, I'm not ready. <laughs> you're not backing out on me, are you? <laughs> no. Let's do this. All right. Keep your mouth closed. This is probably gonna tickle. I don't think you're getting it. No, I'm not. Just don't move. Mm. No, going back now. Actually, no, I want to keep the one. <laughs> Can I just keep the half? You don't have to clean it all the way because I'm going to shoot. Just Hello there. Oh my gosh! Your face! You 
look so oh, young. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I don't have this anymore. I feel like you should cover up your face. You look naked. <laughs> I love it! Yay! Yay. Are you happy to have I my am. face back? I am, mm -hmm. I'm very happy about this. Alright, I'm gonna shower because I've been very dirty and then we'll have a nice meal. You're so handsome! Look at this little face! So many of So many Hello! Leave a comment, guys. What do you think? John's face with or without a moustache. Should I grow that? No. <laughs> <laughs> he just took a sip of water and was like, oh my god, even drinking water is weird. Yeah, because no hair. You look so no, I don't good. Have, usually I would drink water and wipe because water would get in my hair. You look so good. I love it. You love it? Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad you love my face again. Oh, I always loved your face, but I just love it a bit more now. <laughs> We're like new people again. Real people that get their hair done and shave yeah. and stuff. Real people that get their hair done and shave and stuff. Yep. <gasps> I like it. I like this. <laughs> so, what do you do when you're moving and you have nowhere to eat? <laughs> you get a dolly or a trolley, put a cardboard box on it, and have a little barbecue and beer feast. Yeah. What did you order? I got uh, brisket, pulled Ooh. pork. Sorry, everyone that's hungry. Beans. Beans. Mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese. Wow. Slot. And I picked up a little six pack of Michelob Ultra. Do not judge our bit choice. So we got lost down a little rabbit hole tonight. I was introducing John to the UK show I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Um, because how do we even get onto it? Carol Baskin. Oh, yeah, I brought up Carol Baskin because somebody told me that she might appear on the next season. So we, that took us down a bit of a YouTube rabbit hole. And next thing you know, I'm getting John to watch the Peter Andre Insania music video. <laughs> if anyone's got any idea what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. <laughs> One thing we forgot to comment on, it was announced today that the quarantine order has been lifted in Florida for people traveling from the tri-state area. So up until today, it was suggested or ordered, I guess, that when we get to Florida, we should be quarantining for two whole weeks. And now it's been lifted, which is awesome. As much as we'll still continue to be careful and do what we've been doing since the beginning of this whole pandemic, wearing our masks, keeping our social distance, it does mean that we can go out and buy ourselves groceries and fill our apartment with the things that we need without having to rely entirely on online ordering or friends to help us out, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll still be safe. It helps us from not having to rely on people or other things when we know that we can just go do it ourselves. Yeah, it means we can get out and about a little bit more and just make sure we can get everything in order during the week that we move, which is coming up so soon. So fun few days ahead. I've got to work tomorrow morning. I take summer Fridays, so won't have to work a whole day, which is quite nice because the last couple of days have been intense. But we're visiting some friends tomorrow evening for a little get together. Sunday, we're going to the park with a friend. But yeah, should be a fun filled couple of days. And this is well and truly it now. Um, this is crunch time. So, should be fun. Time to make the bed. I guess we'll be doing this every day. Um, <laughs> make the bed and then. Um, it's like um, having a Murphy bed, <laughs> i.e. a mattress against the wall. Yeah, it is Murphy bed. Oh my gosh, this is so bizarre. Oh no! <laughs> Hello! Hooray! You did it! Well done! <laughs> oh boy. All of this. Hi lady. You ready Happy lady? Friday. Happy Friday lady. Yes, let's pop out. We're popping out, bed's back up. This is my first stop at the good old Guel. I got my new trolley that I'm gonna lug around. You so like my good. little strap? Oh, this strap. was gonna strap the same as the to his head? Yes, one of them. Amazing. There's a bunch of them okay. there, but yeah. Time for us to go. Look at this baby face. Do you want me to open the door for you? 
I get it. Okay. I'm still getting used to this face though. <laughs> Sounds like a, some work's being done. All right. We got a coffee, we're slowly dwindling down. So we're gonna get rid of a duffel bag with all our shoes in it. Who is that guy? I, it's still so weird to look at myself right now. Duffel bag gone. Kelsey's now gonna take care of the bathroom because all her stuff is in the bathroom. Do a little bit of uh, deep dive cleaning through her makeups and hair headbands and hair clips and hair ties and hair rubber bands and hairspray and hair curling iron and hair dryer and curler and everything hair related products that she has yeah it's all there all of it i love it you love it mm. Anyway, Kelsey's now gonna take care of the bathroom because all her stuff is in the bathroom. Do a little bit of uh, deep dive cleaning through her makeups and hair headbands and hair clips and hair ties and hair rubber bands and hairspray and hair curling iron and hair dryer and curler and everything hair related products that she has yeah it's all there all of it in there all right she is ready oh don't be so face you got basket there basket there piles there a bunch of hair stuff there and a the bag there and then bag there and then there's more makeup back there. It's like talking to a child, telling them to put the toys away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. See, this is hard now because I'm starting to rediscover things that I forgot I had, like different perfumes. I'm like, oh, I might want to use this in the next week. <laughs> Please throw it away. I can pack it. Okay. I'm not going to throw away perfume. Okay. If that box right there is overflowed. What's this for? Packing. That's everything that you're taking with you. Packing? Yes. So it's stuff I won't use in the next week? Yes. Okay. Throw away, pack, and then I'll keep a little pile of stuff I might want yes. in the next week. Yeah, so if that's overflowed, then something's wrong. I want this trash bin right there, or little trash bag. To, to be full. Ha have something in it, please. <laughs> okay. All right. So you figured it out. I think so. Look at that big bag of trash. Just let me, and there's trash over here too. Ah. Um, let me just put it in, see how it fits in the box. Okay. That'll be good. All right, let's see. All right. A whole box of stuff she's keeping, a whole bunch of stuff she's throwing away, and she's put away the ones that she's gonna be holding on to for the next week. Looks like a productive lady. Right, lady? Yeah. Even productive here as well with stuff getting cleaned up a bit. So a few more things that we got to do, then we have to tackle the kitchen. We got seriously carried away with packing, but we got a lot done. That was yeah. productive. Um, yeah. Need a few more days of that and we'll be good. We all set, yeah. So we're just heading out now. We're going to go grab some snacks and some drinks and then head over to our friend's place in Brooklyn Heights just for an afternoon of hanging out and this will be the last time I see them yeah. until I come back so I'm just going to enjoy hanging out yeah. guys we're so close to the move now and just look at this place everything piled in this side sofa and pretty much clothes everywhere but it's just because we gotta put them in boxes and bags but for the most part we're 
Almost done. Yeah, we didn't film yesterday at all because, well, a few things. Mm -hmm. We had a much slower, later start to our day than anticipated. Mm -hmm. We had kind of a late night on Friday, and then we just thought we'd stay in and crack this out, basically. Yeah, so our closets have been cleared out for the most part, at least Kelsey's closet. Wanna see? Ta-da! So these are the clothes that's going on top of Baymax, and that's really it. Mm -hmm. My clothes have yet to be packed up, but it's not as much, and mine should be fairly quick. This sofa I took apart today, so tonight we're gonna take it to the pickup station for the trash pickup. And to be honest, that's it. We have a mattress that's gonna be here at least until Thursday, a few days before we leave, just so that we don't sleep on the floor. And I'm gonna test out the hat part in the next couple of days to make sure that whatever goes in there fits and everything else needs to be able to fit in Baymax. So that is the situation going on right now. Hopefully everything is done. By the time you see this, we're pretty much ready to head out of here. So we're just gonna cut it off here. It was such a fun week. Um, busy. Been busy, but this is it. Next week's video is gonna be moving day. If we do have a video, it will be probably later within the week just because moving and then we're gonna get situated and then there's gonna be a lot of unpacking and rebuilding the apartment mm -hmm. so we'll be filming the whole time oh yeah but absolutely. we'll probably be a little bit behind as far as editing and, and all of that fun stuff yes until then see you see you soon guys Thank bye you.